Hi, I'm Christine Sai. I'm a partner at 500 Startups. We are a seed fund and accelerator program based in Mountain View, California. I was always really interested in startups and um, fascinated by what everything that they were working on because it felt like they were taking all this risk and creating really interesting things and that's what drew me to venture capital. So I had made a lot of connections kind of in the VC community, um, mostly just to get people's advice and kind of know where things are and I would try to weave, weave uh, startups into my day job at Google and um, I left a couple years ago to join 500 startups. My role is I'm on the investment team so I meet with a lot of companies and decide on whether we're going to invest in them. I also oversee the accelerator program here which is a program that we have for companies that lasts about four months and they come work from our space. We actually invest in the companies and then they get a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring and, and advice from us and go through a whole program of, of speakers and kind of boot camps, metrics reviews, and at the end of it we help them present their pitches to investors. I think you know being an entrepreneur is so hard and I see it every day with our founders. It's not nearly as glamorous as it seems on TechCrunch and other tech publications. It's actually, it's very hard. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, probably a lot of tears that goes into running a company. So um, the more I can do to help them in that process, whether it's our capital or just advice, you know, bouncing ideas off with each other, um, that's what feels most rewarding. I personally like to see that the team, the founding team, has worked together before. Maybe they've started companies before, or they just they know each other really well. It always makes me a little bit nervous when I meet a founder, founding team, and they have only known each other for a few months. So it's, it's a lot like a, a partnership or a marriage that um, you, know, you have to be really in sync to do to do well. So definitely look at the team, and we'd like to see that there is at least you know one technical co-founder and kind of a good mix of a technical talent in business and marketing and, and design. Entrepreneurs are basically going after something with all the odds against them. So they're trying to build a company and along that path, or I guess along that journey, they're gonna get a ton of rejection, a lot of no's, people won't wanna invest in them, people won't want to work with them because they don't wanna take that risk. You know, there's a lot of doubts. Um, so an entrepreneur definitely has to have a thick skin and despite all of the um, popular opinion which says no, you're not going to be able to build a good business, they have to keep feel really passionate about what they're building. So that's one thing. Um, two, they definitely have to be not afraid to take risk and move really quickly. I see that with a lot of our entrepreneurs that if they're too cautious or too conservative or move too slowly, then they, that will kill them. So they have to be willing to, to move fast and take risks. The third thing is that entrepreneurs really need to have perseverance and some patience. So, you know, building a company is a very long process. You're not going to be an overnight sensation and the companies that seem like overnight sensations actually aren't. There was a lot of work until they got, you know, attention. So I think, you know, even in those really down times when you feel like everything is going wrong or, you know, some deal fell through and you didn't get someone to invest in the company, whatever that downtime is, that you keep pushing through and um, keep going because um, otherwise, you know, the company won't survive if, if the founder is not really leading the company and, and has a lot of perseverance. Having strong mentors in your life to help guide you through your career or through other things I think is actually very, very critical. Um, I think the most important thing to understand is that mentors aren't going to do the work for you and they're not necessarily going to tell you what to do and they may not always be right, but what I've always looked for and the mentors that I've had in my life are just someone to talk with, kind of to, to uh, hear me out and explain usually, you know, if something was going wrong, talking to them about what my situation was and getting their advice. And I was very lucky to have mentors who didn't tell me what to do. They would just tell me, kind of empathize with me and tell me what their ideas were. But it was mutually understood that, you know, obviously it's my decision. Um, but just having their words of wisdom was very helpful. Just remember to be ambitious and push yourself outside your comfort zone. You'll actually be surprised at what you're capable of doing when you do that and you put yourself in that situation. Even if it feels scary and uncomfortable, it's better to do that than to hold yourself back and not realize your full potential.